This is Mr. Smith and this is how to do a simple photo manipulation to make it look like you are in the same photo more than once. To do this you start off by putting a camera on a tripod and taking a few photos of yourself in different positions, ideally pretending to interact with the other yous that are in the photo. I just used my laptop's built-in camera to take two photos of myself, so this is kind of simplistic, but you will get the idea of how to do this properly. So, you know, there's that. First thing you do is you import these images, and that can be as simple as taking the image and dragging it over, like so. And I can do that again, like so. And here's a bit of a problem. Uh, each of these images is not transparent, so if I go and try to erase, it's going to appear to be white. So what do I do? This is kind of hack, but here's what we do. We click on the layer we want, and if you don't see the Layers menu, you go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and Layers is going to be in there. You click on that, and the Layers menu pops up, and you'll see all of the imported images on separate layers here. I am going to press Control a to select all. You could also go to um, edit and select all. Sorry, select and select all. But I just press Control A because it's faster. Control C to copy. Again, I could have gone to edit and picked copy. But this works. And now I'm going to press Control V to paste all. And now I got a new layer up here that says floating selection pasted layer. If I press this little button down here, create new layer, it will turn that floating selection into a layer of all of its own. And now I'm going to take this duplicated layer and I'm actually just going to press delete. Okay, that just made it white. Never mind, I'm going to click on this button here. There we go, that works. Now, if I click on this layer and I use the eraser tool and I start erasing, oh look, there's a me behind me. And I can just keep on doing this. I may want to go over and adjust the size of the brush as I get closer to my arm so I don't end up erasing my arm. Like so. And if you erase too much, Control Z and it comes back. But you see how I'm magically appearing. So this is one way of doing it. And let's go in and actually make my brush just a little bit smaller. Get me a little bit more fine control. And go up to the arm just a little bit. go. Try to get as close as you can. I mean, I'm using a brush that's kind of fuzzy, so if I go over a little too far, it's not too bad. But you still don't want it to be too noticeable. And for this little spot right down here, well, this is all mostly the same color, so I could actually use the fuzzy select tool. Sometimes it's called the magic wand tool. I go down and click here, it selects the whole thing, and I can just press delete, and it erased it nicely. And maybe not perfectly nicely. I could also use the paths tool to go through and click on the corners, like that, and then go up to select from path, and then press delete and that might get me a cleaner deletion. Let's put another tool, there we go. All right, so now that I have my image of me freaking out to me being behind me, I'm ready to save this as a version that can be open on other computers. You go up to File, and you go down to Export. And when you click on Export, you're gonna have the option to save it as other kinds of files. Now, it's picked JPG or JPEG as the default because the original images were JPG files. But if I go down here and click on select file type by extension, I have all of these different files to pick from. My personal favorite, and the one that you should probably use for this, would be a PNG image. And it's alphabetical, so it should be easy to find. And click export and pick your name. I'm not going to bother changing that. Just export. And you'll get a pop-up here. You can safely ignore all of this. I should probably at some point make a lesson that explains what all these are, but 99.9% .9 of the time you can ignore all of this and just click export again. And now I have exported an image that looks like me freaking out about me. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.